Hey, welcome back to Miss Riley's Maths videos. I'm working through um, exercise E from the Algebra Revision Booklet. Okay, we're on exercise E. I made a previous video that was really bad quality, so I'm hoping this one will be better. If x equals 5, find the value of 3x plus 4. So we're just subbing in x equals 5 in for, five, for x. So 15 plus 4, which is 19. 7x minus 8. Again, we're subbing in 5 for x. So 7 by 5 is 35. Minus 8 is 27. And then x squared plus 2x plus 8 is 5 squared plus 2 by 5 plus 8, which is 25 plus 10 plus 8, which is 41. Is it? No, 43. Okay, multiply the following and simplify. So I've got 5x by x is 5x squared. 5x by 4 is 20x. 2 by x is 2x. And 2 by 4 is 8. So 5x squared plus 22x plus 8. Okay, and the next one. Sorry, just trying to sort out my speaker here. Um, the next one. 3x by 4x is 12x squared. 3x by minus 9 is minus 27x. Minus 5 by 4x is minus 20x. And then plus 45. So 12x squared minus 47x plus 45. And again, multiply it and simplify. 2x by 5x is 10x squared. 2x by minus 1 is minus 2x. 6x by, 6 by 5x is 30x. And 6 by 1 is minus 6. So 10x squared plus 28x minus 6. So you really should be able to do that. No problem at all at this stage. And multiply out two brackets. Okay. 5x squared and 2x squared is 7x squared. Notice there's a plus, so I'm not multiplying. I'm just adding 8x and minus 3x is 5x, and minus 7 and minus 9 is minus 16. But be careful on this one because there's a minus in between. So I'm going to rewrite it. 15x squared minus 2x minus 9 minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 6. And now I can put it together. 15x squared minus 3x squared is 12x squared minus 2x minus 4x is minus 6x, and minus 9 and minus 6 is minus 15. Factorize, so take out what's common. This is the highest common factor. 3a is in common by p plus 2q. Okay, so once I see what's in common, I take it outside the bracket. Everything else goes inside the bracket. Here I've got a grouping because there's four terms. So I'm going to split it down the middle. a by b plus 3m because a is in common and b and 3m is what's left. And what's in common here is 2t um, by b plus 3m. So it's a plus 2t by b plus 3m. Okay, this is a product in sum, or a quadratic, whichever you like to call it. So x squared plus 5x plus 6. We're still factorizing. Product is 6, sum is 5, 2, and 3. And I'm going to go straight to the brackets, because when it's a single x squared, I can do that without any problem. What's this? This is a dots. I've got an x squared minus a y squared. The factors of that are x minus y, x plus y. Write as one fraction. Um, the LCM, or the highest common denominator, which, whichever you like to call it, is 10. So I'm going to write them both over 10. So 5 goes into 10 twice. So I had to multiply 5 by 2 to get 10. So I multiply 2 by the bracket here. And to get from 2 to 10, I multiply by 5, so I multiply the top by 5 as well. So I'm going to have 4x plus 2 plus 5x plus 15 all over 10, which is 9x plus 17 all over 10. Solve by factorizing first. So product is 15 there, and the sum is 8. So plus 5 and plus 3, because they add together to give 8 and multiply together to give 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go straight to my brackets, x plus 5 by x plus 3 equals 0. If these two multiply together to give 0, then either x plus 5 equals 0, x equals minus 5, or x plus 3 equals 0, x equals minus 3. Solve for x and y. So these are simultaneous equations. So I've got 3x plus 2y is equal to 13, 4x minus 3y is equal to 6. I'm going to try and get rid of the y's because they're already opposite signs. I'm going to make this into 6y and this into minus 6y. So 9x plus 6y is equal to 39, 
and 8x minus 6y is equal to 12. Then I can add them together. 17x is equal to 51. So 1x is equal to 51 divided by 17, which is 3. And then I've got 3x plus 2y equals 13. So 3 by 3 plus 2y equals 13. 9 plus 2y equals 13. So 2y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 2. Okay, I hope that helped. I know it was very quick, but I just wanted to get it out there. Okay, thank you.